All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Stop me off. Where to bid to go? Have it like a thousand dollar. Open it up. How to buy over the counter tax liens in Arizona, what they are, and how they work. So, welcome back. Now, you're going to be astonished at this episode on how to buy over the counter tax liens and what they are and how do they work. So, stay with me because I'm going to show you how to make big dollars right away. Now, I'm Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax liens as an investor, as a guide, and an author for well over 30 years' time. Anybody can do this business, but it does usually take just a little bit of training. All right, so let's learn about over-the-counter tax liens in Arizona. So in this episode, first I'm going to explain a little bit about tax liens, a little bit about tax deeds, and then I'm going to point out a student couple shortly after they finished their training they made over $100,000, over $100,000 on buying over-the-counter in Phoenix, Arizona. They purchased a certificate and they ended up with more than $100,000. So you then need to think to yourself, would that work for you if you can make a small investment? Well, I'll show you how to do it and then you can make up your mind. What I'm about to share with you is a solution to making money in the future. And I'll discuss in a kind of a step-by-step -step process. But first, let's talk about tax liens, what they are, and tax deeds. They're obviously a lot different. Now, they're sold in over 3,000 counties across the United States. Now, what are they selling? Some of the counties are very benevolent. They sell tax lien certificates. That means you can earn an interest rate, but the person that's in the property that's defaulted stays on the property. What does that mean? That means that they're going to stay in the property even though they're in default. All right, now what's really happening is the local government is starting a process to confiscate the property. So if you were to buy tax deeds, when you buy tax deeds, the property has already been confiscated. When they confiscate the property, the treasurer and the tax collector, what they do is they wipe out the mortgage and they wipe out the deed of trust. So they're gonna sell that property for very close to the back taxes. All right, so what's really going on? The county and the municipality needs money to run the government. The money comes from property taxes. So anyone that doesn't pay their tax, they're subject to the property being confiscated and taken away. All right, so all of the states can take the property away, but there's about 1,500 counties that actually sell tax lien certificates. So the government has the authority to not only sell tax lien certificates, but they have the authority to seize, confiscate, and then sell those properties for just the packed taxes. All right, so these auctions are called tax default right, auctions, gentlemen, let's get or they're called here, tax $20 lien $20 certificate bill. auction. It depends upon which auction that you go to. Now, if you're comparing a tax lien and a tax deed, a tax deed, you're going to get a property that's going to come with a tax deed. All right, with a tax lien, what you're doing is you're buying a piece of paper that allows you to earn interest. It just allows you to earn interest. You have no rights on the property. You can't push the people off the property. The property owner stays in the property. You have no right to that property until the redemption period expires. So when you're buying a tax lien certificate, you're just guaranteed or pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get a high interest rate. All right, so purchasing a tax lien usually means you're going to hold the certificate for two to three years two to three years on a tax lien certificate. All right, now I didn't make all these rules. The legislature made the rules. Now, what did the legislature do? Well, they made the rules at the state level, then they pushed them down to the, to the local level, which would be the Board of Supervisors and County Commissioners, and then the County Commissioners and Supervisors tell the Treasurer, go out there and levy the tax. If the people don't pay, well then go ahead and seize the property, confiscate the property, and we're gonna sell it at a public auction. How about I go, how about I go there, how about I go there, how about I go where, how about I go, how about I go here, how about now, how about I go. Well, what's going to happen if they can't sell it at a public auction? So if it's a tax lien certificate and they can't sell it at auction, they'll attempt to do it again and again and again. Meaning they might have it at two or three auctions trying to sell the tax lien certificate. If they can't sell it, what are they going to do with it? Well, then the county is going to take it off the regular list where they're trying to auction it and they're going to take it over to the county and put it on a special list of tax lien certificates, which anybody that wants to can go to the county and say, I want to buy a tax lien certificate over the counter. All right, now what does over the counter mean? The counter is just a big long desk in a room that separates the people that are working for the treasurer 
to you as the public. So it's just a big counter. So think about about a big desk where the person can come up and take care of you and you can be on one side of the counter and there on the other counter. So they could bring a tax lien over to the counter and they could sell it to you. Anybody could buy the tax lien certificate and what would you pay? You'd pay the same back tax as you would at an auction, except now there's going to be no bidding going on. So what do tax liens pay? Well, you can earn 16%, 18%, 24%, 36%, all states pay different amounts, okay? 1,500 different counties will sell tax lien certificates. All right, so in Arizona, it's only 16%. Florida, it's 18%. 24% in Iowa. You're getting the idea. So different, different states have different rules and different amounts that they pay. All right, now property owners that default their taxes, they're either going to get issued a tax lien certificate, which means you're just buying a piece of paper, which you can earn interest on, or... You can go to the auction and buy a tax defaulted property and you would get a deed to the property. In one case, you get a deed. In the other case, you get interest on the money. In both cases, if those certificates or deeds are not sold at auction, the county will try again and again and again to sell them. If they can't sell them, they take them off the regular auction list and they put them on another list but they're always at the local county. So what do you ask for when you go there? You just want to buy tax liens that didn't sell at the last auction, or you do want to buy tax deeds of properties that didn't sell in the last auction. All right, so don't make it complicated. Just tell them what you want. Now, they can have all kinds of different names for them. Don't worry about the different names. Just say you want to buy tax liens that no one bid on. All right, so then the county will give you a list, and it could be a long list, could have thousands of, of tax liens on it. It could have hundreds. I don't know what your county will have. And then you can look at the number of the property, and then you can research it. Now, what would you do? You would go ahead and check the condition of the property. You would check, in, are there any defects in the title? In other words, you would do what we call due diligence, because this was a defaulted property that someone else didn't want that they walked away from. Now, remember, this is the same real estate that we had in any other business. It's the same real estate. It's just that the property owner has defaulted. Now, could it be used and abused? Plan on that. Could it be junk? Well, you don't want to buy junk, so forget that. All right, but you do want to buy properties that could be just cleaned up and then resold or whatever. The point is, you can buy these over the counter. All right, now people buy them over the counter all the time. So you want to learn how to do that. Most people don't reveal this information because they don't completely understand it. All right, now the county's going to try to re-auction all the time. Once they stop the re-auction, they're going to have it at the county you're gonna be able to go there and buy it over the counter. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm gonna show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now, I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction, 24-7, here's an interesting question to ask yourself. If you could buy for 10 cents on the dollar and then resell the property and do that on eBay or Craigslist or Trulia or multiple listing service, and you could sit at home on your rusty dusty and do that on your computer, you'd want to probably be, do that. So you bought it at 10 to 20 cents on the dollar. What if you bought it at 20 cents and you sold it at 60 cents on the dollar? Who would you be selling it to? Well, could you sell it to a guy and gal that do fixer-uppers? Could you sell it to a renovator that's going to renovate it? It's, it's a mediocre house. They're going to make it look like a mansion. Or could you sell it to a flipper? Or could you sell it to someone that has a bad FICO score and the bank has rejected them? So the bank won't lend to them. You could sell it to them and do an installment sale. The point is, there's plenty of places to sell them. The idea is you're going to make your money when you buy. In this business, you make your money when you buy. So if you can buy over-the-counter property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, that would probably be a pretty darn good deal. All right. Obviously, you have to go do your due diligence and make sure that you check defects on title. Make sure that you check the property condition. All right. What if it was a tax lien certificate? Well, now a tax lien certificate, if you bought that 
and you're paying the taxes, what if the people never come in and pay the tax? Well, the tax is usually only 1 or 2% of value, so you're not going to put up very much money to buy a tax lien certificate, but now you have the certificate. What if they don't pay it in a subsequent year? What if you paid that certificate? And what if you kept paying it? Well, just think what's going to happen. You're going to end up with a certificate on that property. Now, does that really happen? Folks, this is not theory. I'm not forecasting anything. This is the best way to make money there is, to make high income so you can get the money that you deserve. The system works in every state. I've tested it. I've perfected it. How do we do that? Working in the trenches with the deals. We're making big money while big money was on the line. So this will work for anybody that wants to try to do it. All right. Now, all this can be made simple by just getting a coach to help you out. But let's get you started and show you what can happen, really happen. I'm going to do that now. Shortly after this young couple finished their training, they decided to buy tax lien certificates. So before they bought the certificates over the counter, before they did that, they looked at the number. They could then go out and inspect the property. So they went out and inspected and what did they find? They found a property that was in a large development of condominiums, but the condominiums were all setting on a huge lake. Now, a lake in the middle of Phoenix, Arizona is pretty darn good property, I can tell you that. But it was less than 10 years old. It was in good condition. So they paid the taxes. All right. They bought it over the counter. They paid the taxes. They paid the subsequent taxes. The property owner never came forward and redeemed the property. So they ended up, they had invested $7,000 in total taxes. Well, they paid the tax, paid the tax, and paid the tax. The 7000 was invested. The people did not come forward. So they took the, their, their defaulted property to the judge. And the judge said, well, you own the tax certificate. If you don't get paid on the tax certificate, you get the property. And they got the property, which they sold for a $169,000 profit. Now, let me review the numbers. They paid $7,000 in tax certificate in delinquent taxes. The people never came in and redeemed it. So they ended up with the property. The judge granted them the property. When they once had their proper title to the property, they sold it and made $169,000. How many deals like that would you have to do in your lifetime to be pretty darn happy about it? So this works for everybody. Anybody that wants to do it can. But don't kid yourself. This is a business that you have to work at. And in order to make big money, you need to follow a very specific system. Now, what is that specific system? In my opinion, it's not going to happen with you making big money at a local bank or a stock exchange. It doesn't mean that you're doomed and you're going to be scratching for crumbs for the rest of your life. You just need to learn a systematic way to make money. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about a side hustle. So don't give up your job. You can make so much money on one deal. You can make all your car payments for years. You can make your house payments for years and you can go on all the vacations you want to make. This is a real business. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.